Howdy folks, this is Sheldon from Show Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another adventure of paint pouring. I'm doing a cloud pour, well, a straight pour with clouds this time. And I hope you like it. This piece is sort of a moody, uh, gloomy piece. When I first had um, the intention to do it, I wanted to do it uh, kind of minimalistically. I did one about a year or so ago which turned out great. Um, I gave it to my son and I, I embellished it with like a night, uh, black crown night heron like in the water because it looked like moonlight that was shimmering on the water. And so I wanted to do something like that similar, but it did not get so minimalistic. More of the colors and the patterns spread all throughout the edges as I tilted it. So it was still a win. Here's the piece right here. And then I will get down to the canvas and show you how I did it. So I still love the way this piece turned out. And as you can see, it's the middle is color shifting. But I love this little area here with the purples and the magentas and how it edged the clouds. The clouds didn't stay extra white, but it did give me some nice crisp edges to edge around the uh, center, which as you can see, shifts into different colors. So there's my moody piece there. I have not come up with a name for it yet. And I may at some point in the future do some embellishment to it. I don't know, but I love the way this piece did turn out. That's why I didn't scrape it. So let's get over to the canvas and we can show, I can show you how I did this particular piece here. I'm still trying to figure out a name though. Okay, so let's get started. Hello everybody, this is Sheldon from Shell Art Art. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a straight cloud pour, but I'm trying to give it more of a minimalistic feel. So it's going to be only a few colors really in the cup. I'm Hopefully, hopefully it'll, it'll work. So let me go over my colors with you. Um, I have a color called Pandora, Pandora, which is like a color shifting color. That's here. Um, then I have, uh, this is, um, what is it called? The Amsterdam um, Violet, Permanent Blue Violet. That's what it is. And then I added some of the, to give it a deeper violet color, I added some of the Curly Pigment called um, Black Plum, it's called Black Plum. And it added a little bit of a deeper plum to it. This is Liquitex Canacridone Magenta. This is Deco Art um, Copper. I think I darkened this copper up some with a little bit of magenta. Or no, it was um it was the Hollyberry. So I wanted a more of a reddish copper. So I put, I put a few drops of the curly pigments hollyberry in it. And it gave me a more richer and redder copper color. Turn this light over here, in case you can't see. Another color I mixed up together was, this is, um, 
obsidian from Deco Art, but it also has some red shade blue in there as well. Green shade blue, I'm sorry. Green shade blue as well. So I took it from that just straight charcoal kind of color and gave it a little bit of a bluish green um, sheen to it. Uh, Glorious Gold from Deco Art. And these are my possible cell makers and you know, I still have my cloud mix as well. And my cloud mix is um, Artist Law Soft Body White with a little bit of the um, Vallejo Pearl Medium and US Floetrol. And then I also have Black by Blick Acrylic. And the black is going to be most of, the, most of the other color to give it that negative space, minimalistic feel. So it's, it's more of a cloud pour that's going to have some negative space of most of a lot of black, okay? It may not be as minimalistic as I'm looking for. But we'll see how it goes. Let's layer the cup. So I'll put some of that in first. The uh, and then I'm going to edge it with some black. The order in which I put it in is very important. Okay. Then I will go with some of the permanent blue violet. Then some cloud mix. Good amount. And I'll sandwich that cloud mix a hope. Oh, almost messed up again. I hit a little gold. So I like to have my cloud mix with a little bit of a gold edge to it. And then I'll hit that with some magenta canacridone. Then I'll hit that with some black again. I'll go with some of the other colors. Let's see. Let me hit it with some of the obsidian. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, back to the black. Sorry, I didn't put that on camera. Then some copper. Now granted, I said this was minimalistic, so I only got one layer of the cloud mix that's gonna be in here. And the rest of it is gonna be um, different colors. with the black. And I think I'll finish that off with some more of this color shifting pigment here. And let me finish that off with the black. And I'll put a lot of black there. Like so, okay? Put some black here as the base to put my colors down. Like I said, I wanted a lot of black. So I'm gonna put you down, put my cup down for a second. And I'm gonna spin this black out to give me a nice pillow of black. Let's see if I see any imperfections like I see here. Like something dropped in it or got stiff in there. So I can pull that out. Good. All right, now let me 
Use my left hand to pull my cup. And let's go. It doesn't seem like I put a lot of cloud mix in there, which I should have. So this might have to be a scraper. Mm -hmm. This may be a scraper, guys. I should have put more cloud mix in there. Some. I love that obsidian. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Okay, just let me look at it while it develops. I did wish I had more of the cloud, more puffiness. That's an interesting look though. See if I can tilt it. I can always pour more, right? Of course. This way. Very dark. I'm going to go over this again, by the way. I'm going to pour a different cup. But I think the idea was good. I'll tip it off of that corner there. I should have went over the whole thing with the black instead of just that circle. I might keep that, who knows? The copper showed up. It was really dark, but it doesn't always have to be bright and fluffy. Let me sit that down for a second. Ooh, you know what? The 
beautiful puffy clouds like the white parts I'm not seeing but I love the look it's not my usual but I think I'm gonna keep that let me wipe my hands off real quick and Get some something something stuck in one of the pieces. It's kind of like yeah. Yep. I like all this up here though. So I'm going to go down here and adjust my composition to pull more of that down. I don't mind some of this stuff, some other stuff coming off the sides. That's not really as pretty as what I got here going on. I do like that off center look. Go a little bit more and come back. So I stretch that out a bit. And it's very earthy. That I can say. Some people I know love earth tones. But this will also be great as something I could modify if I wanted to, if I wanted to do some galaxy type things to it. So I think that's beautiful. It's not what I expected at first. I wanted more of the white clouding, but hey, that's kind of that's kind of cool to be a dark picture. Yeah, I do like that. So I'm going to set this down and get you in for a closer look. So to touch up some of these corners. There's some, because these, these are some thick canvases. So sometimes these thick canvases need these uh, sides touched up a little bit as it's, uh, tilting off the sides, then make sure you got complete coverage. These thick gallery wrap canvases definitely needs that. So let me put this down on the drying table and I'll get you down for a closer look. All right. Yeah, let's see, there you go. Now get you for a closer look. Okay, folks, here is the final wet result. I love the way this area over here is, where that purple blends in with all that. I didn't get a whole lot of white cloud reaction, but I did get some separation of, the, of those fingerlings from the cloud mix. Got a few boulder cells, a little white cells in there. Even some of the separation in here from the cloud mix. So it did give me a nice effect. That um, obsidian mixed with the um, red shade, I'm sorry, green shade blue to give those dark, mysterious effects to it. The red coppery color here, how it lent itself to the magenta and the purple. And then that sense of color there, of course, when it dries, it's going to be a darker um, color shifting color there, which will add itself to the mystery of this piece. So it's one of my darker pieces. My wife don't like a whole lot of dark pieces, but this right here, I'm keeping. So 
Thank you for watching. This is Sheldon from Show Up Art. And as always, I say, happy pouring. Good night. Thank you.